Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you in this video uh, my own discussion, albeit no doubt arousing a lot of um, uh, different ideas in your own head, which is a really good thing. Um, my own discussion of Matthew chapter 24 verses, looks like 29 to 31, which are very interesting. And it goes like this. I'll describe them one by one and talk about them. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. Well, so, this is a very vivid image, is it not? And is it true or is it just allegorical? Okay, we could look at it either way. We could look for physical signs like that, or we could uh, look look at it as an allegory about the change of consciousness that's coming upon humankind. And this is the way that I would like to consider it today. When when Christ says the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall so fall from heaven. I think it's worth considering he may be describing what some of the, the new prophets and sages have, have just gone through in the last year, what they call the void, okay? The void is apparently a place where, we, where we're passing through from what we knew as reality in the old days, in the third dimension, fourth dimension, into the, the fifth dimension of Christ consciousness. and. Uh, between the fourth and the fifth dimension apparently exists a space called the void, okay? And in it there are no physical objects which would, which would jive with this thing. You are all alone with your awareness, your consciousness. And so in that sense, in that allegorical sense, we could say, the sun is darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven. And in that space of the void, where we can't relate to physical things anymore, we can't even see anything anymore, where there's only nothingness, then in that space must we have faith, faith in God, okay, to lead us through that. We have no other context, okay? And um, the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Yeah, okay. So, it's what they call the dark night of the soul, I feel. It's the time when nothing prior makes any sense anymore. And when, in fact, the beingness is evolving into a completely new state. Such a thing has happened to me on a couple of occasions that, that I've actually lost all sense awareness. You know, I stood up and everything has been completely black. You know, I've had no context of kinesthetic sense or anything. And so at that point I stand and I wait, I wait for the will of God to manifest, you know. So, and, and I think it's from that space too, according to what the new, new seers and prophets say, from that space that we will actually, um, uh, ascend into Christ consciousness. You know, some people call it today uh, software, new software upgrades, <laughs> changes in our, men in our mental mind that allow us to relate to reality differently. So here I say just, just hold the line in faith, know that all is well, even if everything dissolves around us. And moving on to the next verse, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Well, so let me offer you something here that's very untraditional. Suppose the Son of Man described here is you. And the tribes of earth mourn. You know, when we come into our power through Christ consciousness, our families, you know, all those that we relate to and like that, they do mourn for the connection to 
amongst people that we have is dissolved. The tribal awareness that we have is eclipsed by our awareness of Christ consciousness and our alignment with God. So, it's just say you're, you're the Son of Man. You become like Him, okay? And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. So that's how you're going to look to other people who have not yet achieved Christ consciousness. Something worth considering. And on to the final verse to be discussed in this video. Verse 31, And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, and from one end of heaven to the other. With the sound of a trumpet, okay. They say that, that when the heart is fully open, the heart chakra is fully open, Lots of times you hear the sound of a trumpet. Doesn't that make sense here? So, so Christ is coming with his angels, and the sound of a trumpet, the sound of the hearts, of hearts opening, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. So according to the last verse, it might be you that's doing the gathering, right? Your consciousness, your Christ consciousness, is gathering together the Christ consciousness of all people everywhere. Or, or you could say Christ through you is doing that thing. And you are working with the angels to do that. Yeah. What a wonderful job description. <laughs> well, we'll continue with this, this chapter in another um, video. Y'all take care.